So in this chapter, we will discuss polynomial interpolation or how to construct a interpolation polynomial for a given set of points. So first, I will introduce the table of contents of the chapter. So after introducing the interpolation problem, we will introduce the linear interpolation then the polynomial interpolation and I will present the Lagrange polynomial and which permits to construct the interpolation polynomial in a uh, simple way then efficient um, algorithms for the Lagrange polynomial using the barycentric formula or the Newton divided differences. So let's consider endpoints xi, yi that can be experimental points or calculated value, etc. So n discrete values. The interpolation problem consists of finding an approximation to the function f of x passing through these points, which provides a mean to estimate the value f of x for any value x. The most basic interpolation is the linear interpolation. So the linear interpolation consists of estimating the value of for a given point x that lies between the points xi and xi plus 1 as the value of the line passing through the points xi f of xi xi plus 1 f of xi plus 1 so this is basically the equation of the line passing through the points xi and xi plus 1 now, the main drawback of this method is that the interpolation is, the interpolation function is not differentiable at the point xi. So basically you have two value for f prime of x, for example, at this point, two different value, okay, of f, f prime of x. And the other, um, problem is that this way of interpolating uh, produce a large error that is proportional to xi plus 1 minus xi squared. That's why in general we use polynomial interpolation. So the polynomial interpolation consists of finding a polynomial that will pass exactly through the endpoints xi, yi. Now there exists one and only one polynomial of order n minus 1 passing through exactly these endpoints. So why the order of the polynomial is n minus 1? is because here for a polynomial of n minus 1 we have n variables okay or n parameter ai from a0 till a n minus 1 so we have n parameters and because we have we will have n equations we have n points x i y i so we will have exactly one okay polynomial that is passing through these a point so the parameter ai can be determined uniquely so the proof is that if there exists two polynomial p and q such as yi is equal to p of xi yi is equal to q of xi so two polynomials are passing through this endpoints so then the polynomial p minus q is equal to zero for endpoints so for these endpoints xi, yi. And then 
the AI parameter are zeros. So uh, the AI parameter of this polynomial P minus Q becomes zero. So P minus Q, P minus Q becomes identically zero. So there is one and only one polynomial that is passing through endpoints. Okay. And, and one and only one polynomial of order L minus one. Now, if we express the condition yi equals to p of xi, then we get n equations here. So a0 plus a1 x1 plus a2 x1 square plus n, a n minus 1 x1 uh, n minus 1 is equal to y1, etc. Which you can recast into a matrix form here. Okay. So 1 x1 x1 square x1 n minus 1, 1 xn xn square xn n minus 1. So this is a matrix of size n multiplied by n. And this is, these are the unknowns here. a0 till a n minus 1 is equal to y1 till y1, uh, yn. So we can determine the parameter AI by solving this system of equation. But this is not recommended for the following reason. So this procedure can be time consuming numerically and especially for a large number of points n. In addition, the system of equation is called ill-conditioned. This means that the solution is very sensitive to errors. So constructing the polynomial this way by solving the linear system of equation will not be considered. There is other methods, much more efficient methods, using the Lagrange polynomial that we will introduce now, the Lagrange polynomials. So what are the Lagrange polynomials? So let's consider endpoints x i y i. So we can construct n Lagrange polynomial, each Lagrange polynomial corresponding to one point x i y i. So the Lagrange polynomials are given by the products of the terms x minus xj, xi min minus xj over xi minus xj for j going to 1 till n with j different than i. So all the possible products xi, uh, x minus xj x over xi minus xj. So the most important property of the Lagrange polynomial is that li of x is equal to zero for any xj different than xi and it's equal one for x equal xi so for example here if we take any xj it will give here zero okay and now if we take xi this here, the denominator becomes xi minus xj over xi minus xj, so it becomes 1. All right? So this is the most important property of the Lagrange polynomial. So now we can construct the interpolation polynomial using simply the sum of yi li with i going from 1 till n. So this is a polynomial that will pass exactly through all the points xi. Now, as an example, we will construct the interpolation polynomial passing through these three points. So xi is equal minus 1, 0, and 1. yi is equal 1, 0, and 2. So the interpolation polynomial is given by p is equal to y1 l1 plus y2 l2 plus y3 l3. So as you can see here, the y2 is equal to 0. So 
we don't need to construct the interpolation polynomial for L, uh, for the point two, so the L two. So this is the p is equal to L one plus two times L three. Now we'll construct the 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 Lagrange polynomial L one and L three. So L one is given by the product of the terms x minus x j divided by x i minus x j. X i is equal to one in this case. So x one minus x j. Okay, and for j different than i, and j going from 1 to 3. So here we have the points 2 and 3, because it must be different than 1. So I have x minus x2 multiplied by x minus x3 divided by minus 1 minus 0. minus 1 minus 1 so x minus x2 x2 is 0 so it's x x minus x3 x3 x1 x minus 1 divided by 2 and the L3 is consider only the point 1 and 2 so x minus x1 x minus x2 divided by here xi is 3 x3 so it's x3 minus x1 x3 minus x2 so it's x minus minus 1, so plus 1, x multiplied by x minus 0, x divided by 1 minus 1, plus 1, and x3 minus x2 is 1. So it's x multiplied by x plus 1 over 2. So the interpolation polynomial will be given by x by x minus 1 over 2 plus 2 times L3 here plus x multiplied by x plus 1. So it's equal to x squared over 2 minus x over 2 plus x squared plus x so it's equal to 3 x 3 over 2 x squared plus x over 2 now we can verify that this interpolation polynomial pass through the points x i y i so if i take p of minus 1 I find 3 half minus half which is equal to 1. If I take p of 0, this is 0. And if I take now p of 1, it gives me 2. And now I will explain the program for the Lagrange interpolation polynomial. So first I define my interpolation points and the xi and the yi so i put them in a vector here it's the vector x capital i contains the different points xi and this is the point x for which i want to calculate the the polynomial at this point and now i wrote a function so you don't need to write a function here I wrote a function that returns the value of the polynomial okay, at the point x and that takes in input the interpolation point xi and yi. Okay, so let's see the function now that I define. 
So as I said, the function returned the value p of the polynomial at the point x and taking as an input xi and yi. So first define ni as being the length of the, the interpolation uh, vector, the number of point interpolation points. We define p equals 0 in order to make the sum because we will make p equals the sum of yi multiplied by li. So we need to start from 0. And then we will make a loop on i and a loop on j. Now here for the index, I put for ii equals 1 till ni. Okay, I prefer to use ii instead of i because i and j in MATLAB are the complex numbers so that's why as index I always takes an i but you can use i but you will not be able to use complex number now in this program we don't have complex number but I always take habits of using i i instead of i so for i equals 1 till n i the number of point of interpolation now I will calculate the difference l i l i I start by 1 because I will make the product and I make a loop on j to calculate the ni so for j equal 1 till ni if j different than i I calculate l which is equal x minus xj over uh, xi minus xj here this l and I multiply now li by l so like this i will form the different products and calculate the li now when i finish this i i write p equals y i multiply by li plus p okay and this will return the lagrange polynomial now if i run this program Okay, this gives me one vec one value, which is the value of p at the point x. Now, if I want to calculate, if I want to plot this polynomial, I need to take a vector of x. For example, taking a vector of x that is between minus 1 and 1 with a step of 0, 0, 1, for example. Okay. Now <clears throat> I can use the same function and make a loop on the different points x and return okay the value of the polynomial for for each x and plot the function. But I can also what I can also do is that I can also write my function such as my function returns instead of one point that it return a vector of size x which is the polynomial interpolation at the vector x so here I need to modify slightly my function and here instead of putting one okay here I will instead of putting p equals 0 I will pick put p equals 0 1 n the size of x where n is the size of is the length of the vector x okay it should be a vector now and not just sim a, sim a simple point and then here instead of putting 1 the li will be 1 n so a vector of size n and here you need to be careful for the product to put dot multiply instead of just multiply okay? and this now should work should return the value for a vector x now instead of just one point x now let's 
plot. Nah, udah. So we'll define here x before calling the function. And now let's plot x p. Okay, so this is the polynomial. Okay, now I can also plot the interpolation points to see if the polynomial pass to the interpolation point xi, yi, and I will put. A red circle okay you can see that the interpolation polynomial here passed through these interpolation points exactly now some remark concerning the Lagrange interpolation polynomial so if you want to calculate the number of multiplications and divisions that this algorithm requires so first let's consider the lagrange polynomial so for each lagrange polynomial if we look at the expression of the lagrange polynomial so we have n minus 1 product and n minus 1 divisions okay so if we take this quantity okay this is one division and if we multiply it by n minus 1 time so this is n minus 1 products and n minus 1 divisions to calculate 1 li and because we have n polynomial to calculate so we will have n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplication and n by n minus 1 divisions to calculate all the Lagrange uh, uh, polynomials now the final sum this final sum here requires n multiplications so we add all the multiplications together and we get n by n minus 1 plus n this is n square multiplications and n multiplied by n minus 1 divisions so this is the number of multiplications and divisions that are required it's almost n square multiplication and almost n square divisions now in addition if we need if we change one node xi we need to do the calculation all over again to recalculate all the polynomials and the new interpolation polynomial now a better form of the interpolation polynomial which is more practical for computational purposes is given by the barycentric form of the lagrange interpolation or also the newton divided differences so now we will present these two form of the interpolation polynomial.